Hi everyone, I'm still here in Lebanon and I'm in Antilles. I'm outside the restaurant that's run by Abu André, the falafel Abu André. Come inside, he's got some exciting recipes to show us. Hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. And he's also a chef. This is Chef Abu André and he's going to show us today how to make full. What is full? You're going to find out. Today I want to make uh, beans. Beans uh, the fast food Lebanese. These beans are soaked for 12 hours and then cooked for 3 hours. Small garlic, okay. A little lemon. Salt. Okay. To a mixing bowl, he adds the cooked beans. This one is full beans. The beans are crushed using a wooden pestle. You put in plate. Cooked chickpeas are added. Olive oil. Okay, and now I am finished. When you eat it in Abu Andre, it's the first one in Lebanon. It's the best. The best in Lebanon. to make uh, balila uh, and um, sabha. I want to start in balila. This one is balila. Okay. Yep. And now I want to mix it with garlic. Okay. Yep. Fresh garlic. Garlic, yes. And uh, salt. Salt? Yes. Yes. But I don't put uh, lemon. Uh, I put only olive oil. Oh, okay. Okay. Now I want to I want to make balila and musabbaha. Balila. Okay, so you mix that up. Yes, I mix it too much, but without oil. Okay. I put balila. Uh -huh. And now I finish balila. Now I want to make musabbaha. Musabbaha is very nice. I put uh, lemon. Lemon juice, yes, fresh juice, and after I put tahini. And you mix that up. It's yes, hot. yes, yes. This one, at the same time, I I make two plates. This one is musabbaha. I put small. Olive oil. Okay. Yeah. Okay, this one balila. It's very nice. And I say for uh, everybody, sahtel. Okay, now back to Santorini restaurant. The whole fish is barbecued over hot coals and then smoked for that smoky flavour. Okay, so the fish is being cleaned and boned and now we we'll just have the flesh and you're going to make a tagine, is that right? So we'll start with the base first. So some olive oil, some sliced onion, So the onions are sweating for about 10 to 15 minutes and then we add the tahini. The tahini has been diluted with some water and some lemon juice. Some basil leaves are rolled and shredded. These are added to the mix along with some black pepper. The tahini mixture has been plated with some lemon for garnish. The fish pieces are placed on top and sprinkled with some roasted pine nuts. Yeah. 
They're just about to film my intro to the NBN TV studios. Here's part of the interview on NBN TV. You can watch it all on my website. Because you are here in our studio. And as I said to all people that are, they're watching us, every day they wait for your segment. They want to learn more about Chef Joe's secrets. Right. Yeah, so first of all, just tell us about you as Chef Joel. From where are you? Okay, well, um, first of all, I'll say thank you for having me here. I mean, uh, I never imagined I would be here, so it's, uh, it's a pleasure and an honor to be here. You always watch our program? Always, you always watch your program, watch but your segment. On, <laughs> on the internet, yes, I don't yeah. have the satellite, so. Uh, yeah, I never imagined that I would actually find myself here on the set, yeah. so it's, uh, it's great to be here. You're most welcome. Thank you. So now we are making traditional Lebanese rice. Vegetable oil is added to a pot on medium heat. These are fine noodles, or vermicelli, which are added to the hot oil. They are fried until they reach a nutty brown colour. The excess oil is tipped out. The rice has been washed and added to the pot and slightly fried. Some salt and some pepper. Boiling water is added to the rice and cooked until tender. Traditional Lebanese rice. Okay, so for the next dish, we're doing these uh, little fishes, which are called sardines. They're tiny little sardines, and um, he's going to deep fry them using some flour and some salt. Um, so, in Lebanese, what do you call this? This is sardine. There you have it. First, the sardines are seasoned with salt. They are evenly mixed and placed into the flour. They are then coated in the flour and then shaken through a strainer to remove all the excess flour. The sardines are placed in hot frying oil and cooked until brown and crispy. They are served in some fried Lebanese bread that's been shaped in a bowl with some fresh lime, some tahina which has been diluted with lemon juice, water and salt. 